My doctor said that there was a small area on my pelvic bone that needed to be biopsied, but it would be very rare if it was cancer. I'd already had breast cancer. Then one day I called my doctor about a pain in my leg. My son was in high school when I was diagnosed. He wrote his college essay about it. Did you know that in developed countries, at least 30% of women with early stage breast cancer will eventually develop metastatic breast cancer, as I did? At 59, in quite good general health, I went into the hospital for surgery to correct what we thought was a bladder problem. My freshman year, an earthquake struck my family. My mom's diagnosis of stage four breast cancer shook the foundation of everything I had known. My house looked the same, but nothing in my life felt the same. I felt this empty feeling for what seemed like forever. I got a phone call that the area was cancer. I still didn't know what it meant. I still felt fearless. After all, I had been vigilant with my health, mammograms, and no family history of cancer. If you know someone who has died from breast cancer, they died from stage four metastatic breast cancer, or MBC, which is the only stage that is fatal. There has been no reduction in the number of annual deaths from breast cancer in over two decades. I picked up a book about advanced breast cancer. I read that there was no cure for metastatic breast cancer. It was then that I realized I was not going to get better and my world fell apart. They explained that in spite of 20 years of negative mammograms and diligent self-examination, I had malignant breast cancer cells that had already metastasized to my stomach, my colon, and my bladder. When the physicians left, my husband put his arms around me and said, well, this is what it feels like to be standing in your worst fear. I remembered his words, we will try to help you. I appreciated the help, but also that word try suggested there might be some limits to the help they could provide. Of the billions raised annually on breast cancer research, only 2% of that money goes to metastatic breast cancer, even though 30% of breast cancer patients progress to stage four. That doesn't seem fair, does it? Metaviver offers support to metastatic breast cancer patients. It also raises funds to award annual grants to researchers focused exclusively on metastatic breast cancer. Since 30% of patients will metastasize, we believe 30% of research dollars should go to metastatic breast cancer. We plan to award over $100,000 in research grants in the coming year. 100% of that goes to metastatic breast cancer research. We lose 41,000 men and women each year to MBC. By making a pledge to support Metaviver, you are directly increasing the research and support of those facing the challenges of stage four breast cancer. There are so many of us standing in our worst fear. One day we didn't have it, and the next day we did. We are so much more than pink. And, and we, we need, need you now. now. Visit us on the web at metaviver.org.